This is episode number 5 of Windows 365 Masterclass. In this episode, we are going to look into the second architectural option of Windows 365. In this architecture, we are going to use Azure Active Directory join, but you are going to bring your own Azure network into the play. So we are going to set up an Azure network and leverage that to host your cloud PC. Let's begin. For the option 2, Windows 365 architecture, you need permission to perform certain activities within your Azure subscription. So you as an administrator need to have access or you need to take help from somebody within your organization to perform certain tasks. The first thing what you need is to provide access to your subscription. For Windows 365 to do certain tasks, you need to provide reader access for the Windows 365 role. So to do that, you can go to your subscription, go to Access Control IM, click on Add, Role Assignment, search for Windows 365. You will see three different roles. The one we need to add first is the Windows 365 subscription reader. Select that, click Next, click Next, and assign to your subscription. I have already assigned. For in your case, you need to review and assign it. So that gives reader permission to your app Azure subscription. So this is the first permission. The next one is if you go back into your subscription, access control I am, click on add role assignments, search for Windows 365. There are two more additional roles. The first one is network interface contributor. This permission is used to create network interface cards in your selected resource group. The another one is Windows 365 Network User. This permission is used to attach the created network interface cards to the selected virtual network. You either need to have this role assigned to your role to perform activities like creating virtual network, things like that, or your username or your user identity already have global admin rights or contributor in your subscription, then you don't need that. All right. So this is the first permission you need to perform the task. I'm not going to add these two to my user account because I'm already a global admin in my organization. The next step is to create a virtual network because in option two, if you look at it, we are using Azure Active Directory join to join your cloud PC, but we are going to use your own, bring your own Azure network connection to host your cloud PC network card. So you will have full control of the Cloud PC virtual network. That means you can have site-to-site -site connectivity to your on-prem or express route to access resources on-prem. And you can have connectivity within Azure resources based on what access you provide within your Azure connectivity. So let me go and create a virtual network. So to create a virtual network, you can simply go to virtual network, create a new virtual network, or you can leverage an existing virtual network as well. You can create a brand new resource group or you can leverage an existing one. So I'm going to create a new resource group. I'm going to call this network Windows 365 Azure AD join. Bring your own Azure network connection resource group. Click OK. The VNet, I'm going to call it as VNet Windows 365 Azure AD join. Bring your own Azure network connection. I'm going to host this in East US. Click next. Here you can provide your own IP address range. This is the IP address which is going to be assigned to your cloud PC. So I'm going to quickly rename the basic or default subnet. I'm going to name this as Windows 365 AADJ bring your own subnet and the IP address range is this. Click on save. Go to security. Right now I'm not enabling any of that. So simply click review and create. After the validation, click on create. So while that is creating, you don't have to necessarily create a VNet to start the process. If you already have VNets available within your Azure subscription, which you can leverage, you can start with that. But I'm showing you the process of creating a VNet as well. So if you go to resource, you can see your new VNet is created. This is the address space. You have one subnet available. If you want to add more subnets, you can add that. 
So that part is done. The next step is we are going back to our Intune portal. So the Intune portal is endpoint.microsoft.com. Here, first we are going to create a new group, just like how we created a group for the option one. I'm going to quickly copy the name format so that we can just leverage that. I'm going to go back to the group we created for option one, copy the name, go back to groups. I'm going to click on create new group. I'm going to retain the group type as security group name. I'm going to modify the group name as bring your own Azure network connection. So the group name is Windows 365 Azure AD join, but this time it is bring your own Azure network connection architectural user group membership type as assigned and click on create. So our second group is created. Next, go to user, figure out the user who you want this connectivity to be added to. So we, in the first example, we have seen the user Mackie using first architecture, which is Azure AD join with Microsoft hosted network. So this time I'm going to pick another user. I'm going to pick Chirashi. The first step is go to licenses, click on assignments and assign a license to the user and click on save. After the license assignment, let's go to the group and add this user to the new group we created. The new group is W365. The architecture we are going to use is bring your own Azure network connection. So select that, click on select and add this user to the group. Let's do a refresh. Yep. So this user is part of the group and we have already assigned a Windows 365 license for the user. The next step is go back to devices within your Intune portal. Within device onboarding, click on cloud PC creation. This time, instead of creating a provisioning policy, because last time we created a provisioning policy for the first architecture, this time before even creating a provisioning policy, we need to create an Azure network connection. So click on Azure Network Connection and here click on Create. Within this Azure Network Connection, we have two options, Azure AD Join and Hybrid Azure AD Join. The option two architecture is Azure AD Join. We will create the Hybrid Azure AD Join the next episode. So select Azure AD Join, create the network name. I'm calling it as Windows 365 Azure AD Join Plus. Bring your own Azure network, architectural network. The join type by default, it is Azure AD join. Select the subscription. If you cannot see subscription here, that means the first step what you, I have shown you, the Windows 365 need to have a reader access to your Azure subscription. So if you cannot see that, go and provide that. Otherwise select here, you can either create a new resource group within the Intune portal or select an existing one. So I'm going to select the one which we created just now. That is Windows 365 Bring Your Own Azure Resource Group. Within that, I have a VNet available. The VNet is called VNet Windows 365 Azure AD Join Bring Your Own Network. And I have a subnet available as well, which is Bring Your Own Subnet. Select that, click Next. These are the permissions which I told. If you do not have these permissions within your Azure subscription, this is the time you go back and provide the subscription um, permissions. If you do have, click on review and create. This will go through a validation process. And there is a service called Watchdog service which runs to go and check each and every step of this process. So I will quickly show you how it is. So let it run this check right now. This would take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete this process. So without this, we will not be able to create a new provisioning policy to leverage this architecture. So we need to first complete this step. We need to make sure that the status is verified and successful before proceeding to the next step. I'm going to pause this video. We'll come back to this after completing this step. Okay, the network is being successfully created. When you create it, if you end up having any issues, all you have to do is go to the network connection and click on the status. Even if you have error, you would be able to go through each and every step to figure out where the error has happened. So this is the network watchdog service which runs in the background. 
to validate each and every step in the background. So if you happen to have any permission issues, you would see an error message here so you can go and troubleshoot that. So now that we have the network ready, the next process is to go and create a provisioning policy. Just like how we created a provisioning policy for the first one, I'm just going to copy the name so that I don't have to retype it fully. Go and click on create a new policy. The first step is to give a name to your provisioning policy. I'm going to modify the name. This time we are doing architectural option 2, Azure AD join plus bring your own Azure network connection. Provide the right description. Again, the license type we are using enterprise. The only change this time is we are going to retain the join type as Azure AD join. But instead of Microsoft hosted network, we are going to this time choose Azure network connection. That's the network we have created. So if the network creation has been successful, you can click on Azure network connection. Here, you will be able to see the new network connection you just now created. So all you have to do is simply select the network connection and click next. Again, I'm going to retain the gallery image. If you want to know how to create custom image, there is another video I created. I think it's episode number three. You can go and watch that. Click next. Under configuration, I'm not making any change. Under assignments, click on add groups. This time, we are going to select W365. We created a user group for the second architecture. The second architecture is Azure AD Join Plus Bring Your Own Azure Network Connection. Select that, we have a user there, which is assigned with a Windows 365 license. Click next, validate the process, click on create. So the provisioning policy is successfully created. So let's refresh it. So we have two provisioning policy. One is option one, another one is option two. One difference what you can see in option two is, if you scroll down within the provisioning policy, you can see that now we have attached this provisioning policy to an Azure network connection. Now, if you go back to overview, we only have one cloud PC provisioned with the first architecture. Let me go back to all cloud PCs. Here you will see there is a new cloud PC is being provisioning. The status is provisioning, but if you look at it, it is provisioning under Azure network connection. And the image is Windows 11 Enterprise. And the provisioning policy this time what we are using is Azure AD plus bring your own Azure network connection. So I'm going to give it another 20 minutes. I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back once this step has been completed. Looks like our cloud PC is been provisioned. It took around 20 to 25 minutes to get this provisioned. Let's go to our Azure AD to see if we can see this cloud PC. I'm going to go back to my Azure portal. Click on Azure Active Directory. Click on Devices. Go to all devices. Let's check the name of the cloud PC we just now provisioned. It's CPC CHIRA. Let's go back to the Azure portal. Yep, you can see that CPC CHIRA is been provisioned and it's Azure AD joined. To verify if everything is working good, let's log in as the user. I'm going to go to another portal. Let's go to the Windows 365 admin portal by going into windows365.microsoft.com. Sign in as the user. Let's find out the username. I forgot the username. Okay. Let me quickly copy the username. Go back to the portal. Put in the username. Put in the password. Click on sign in. Again, this will be provisioned for the first time. So you have to go through that first setup wizard. All right. So the user's cloud PC is being provisioned. I can see that as a card. Um, all I have to do to connect to this cloud PC is to click on open in a browser. Accept the default settings, click on connect, provide the password and click on sign in. It is signing in for this user for the first time. All right, so it logged in for the user for the first time. We know that it is hosted in Azure network. To verify everything, just go to command prompt and let's type in IP config. So the IP address of this virtual machine is 10.2.0.4. So let's go back to our Azure portal. And within Azure portal, let's go to virtual networks. The virtual network we are hosting it is VNet, Windows 365, bring your own Azure network. I'm going to go to the subnet and check the address space. 
So the address space is 10.2.0.0 slash 24 and our cloud PC's IP address is 10.2.0.4. So now if you have any resources within that VNet or if you have extended that VNet to your on-prem with site to site or expressed out, you would have connectivity back to your on-prem resources. So that's how you can stand up a cloud PC in your own Azure network while joining to Azure Active Directory. In the next episode, we will look into the hybrid Azure AD join with Bring Your Own Network. I hope you find this useful. I will see you on the next one. Take care.